Hey guys, how you doing? Um, good afternoon to you. Uh, I was kind of taking a nap there and was dreaming a bit. And uh, I want to continue on with um, the gifts of the Spirit and what we get from God, but we need to use them for the right way and not the wrong way. Now, excuse me for a minute. I don't want to be disturbed here. So, anyway. My pastor tells me I'm going to be a preacher. And, um, honestly, I do not have the gift of the gab to be able to be up on a pulpit and preaching the Word of God. But I have the gift of gab to talk about Jesus Christ when I need to talk about it. And when I was... Before in the world, I had a gift. A woman I with kind of was, um, I guess, a medium in, in respect um, to her beliefs and things like that. Something that I kind of believed in as well at that time. But that last video that I did was about how Satan tried to take advantage of me and take my life and all. But when things started going good and I actually um, got away from all that past, uh, somehow the spirit world came in. And I can't explain it. I really can't because I really didn't know it. Now, I told you before that I was involved in Ouija boards and sort of things like that, and I was in a demonic possession. And uh, I was actually released from that after a period of time. Uh, I think God released me on it. But I continue to have these dreams, and I would always dream of hell. And always, like, the dream was that I would be going up a, an escalator the wrong way. Yeah, you know, we were kids who always wanted to try to jump and run up an escalator that's going off the opposite direction. It's pretty tiring to get up there. You eventually get up there at the end. But when you're young and you and you have a lot of energy, you can actually get to the top. Well, my dream used to be that I would be running up that escalator the wrong way towards heaven. That's what I was perceived as looking at as heaven. But when I actually turned my back, I saw how. And this was a vivid dream that I used to have all the time. It was kind of a nightmare. It used to wake me up in a cold, cold sweat. Um, and, and very powerful. Uh, and one time I woke up and I heard my, um, my girlfriend or my wife, de facto relationship we're in anyway, um, moaning. And it was kind of weird after waking up and she was moaning she was literally moaning like she was having a dream and a nightmare in, in herself but she was moaning and I asked her is everything okay are you alright there and I can remember her opening her voice up and calling my name but I knew it wasn't her that was calling me if you can understand this and it was like something that was talking through her to me directly. And it was very weird because it called my name and it told me that I was in darkness and that they were in darkness as well. And they were in darkness because of the lifestyle that I was in previously. And it was like a connection that they actually got. I don't know how it happened, whether it was through my nightmare or whatever it was um, that was supposed to wake me up, but it literally happened, okay? And she um, she started speaking in ways that I didn't understand. I knew it wasn't her. It was an entity speaking through her to me directly that told me to change my ways. 
that told me that my heart is not pure, that I have pits in my heart and I have a black aura around me and I need to change. And this entity said, and they were told that they were going to change me. Now, again, not a total believer in God, uh, but knowing spiritually there's things there. I've been involved in the satanic world and, and knew there was a God there because he's got me out of situations. But I knew there was a balance between the two of them. Okay, So when I heard this one speak to me, I asked, where are you from? And they said, we're in the darkness. And it's, it's quiet and it's lonely, but we're in the darkness. Can you bring me to the light? This is what the entity said to me. I said, to bring you to the light? Uh, how am I going to do that? What do you mean, bring you to the light? Light a candle. And I'll come to the light. And allow me to get up and sit on a chair. I said, whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what are you talking about there? You know? So I decided that I would light a candle. And then the entity said that I'll follow the light. And I allowed the entity to get out of the bed and go sit on a chair. Which is kind of weird because I'm not thinking right, thinking, is this real? Is this what's going on? Am I still in a dream or what's going on? But it was reality, okay? And this entity spoke to me through my wife and told me about the situation of my lifestyle, that this was their lifestyle as well, but what happened was they got murdered by a pedophile to cover it up. And he said, I was attracted to your aura because you've been in the same circumstance. I know it sounds weird, but I from promise of God, I can tell you and testify to this that this is true. And never once was I really scared. I was just more puzzled than anything, but kind of more intrigued in what, in what was going on. And I asked a few questions and um, was told that he had been murdered and covered up in a certain place. He was in the darkness and he needed to be brought out to the light so he could get justification in bringing the murderer uh, to be shown up and find his body. So I, I'm really involved in all this sort of stuff, you know. Uh, I read a lot of books on the subject and mediumship and things like that, how, how spirits talk to other and, and tell them things and whatever like that. So I was intrigued by this. So I asked uh, a few questions. I like. There was no real answers to what was uh, the questions I was asking about God. And he said, yeah, there's God, whatever, but I'm in darkness right now and I'm in a different level. And again, I didn't know the, the truth of Jesus Christ and heaven and hell in such a way. I, I, my, my wife was a Catholic and she talked about purgatory. So what she taught me about the Catholic Church, I thought, this is purgatory. This is where this young entity... Uh, that had been murdered is in purgatory, in the darkness. So I said, well, how do I change? He said, I was told by God that I had to change you. What? <laughs> you told by God? 
that you had to change me? He said, yeah, and if I change you, you're going to help me find the person that killed me and get him incarcerated or put in prison because of it. Said, Whoa, <laughs> this is really getting like out of this, out of this world now. And then he got, the entity got really serious and said, you listen to me now. I need you to do something. And I said, what's that? And he says, obviously the um, entity knew about the Last Supper and the communion uh, ritual. Because he told me the very next morning to go to a grocery store and he said there'll be unleavened bread there waiting for you and to buy a bottle of wine and to bring it home and then light a candle and he'll come back and we'll have communion. Okay. Uh, well, I really didn't... I've, I've only been to Catholic Church a few times and it's under Mass and things like that and I've, only, and I've seen them do it but really not understand what it was about. So I listened to it what they said and they said now we have to leave and no sooner had that person or that entity said we had to leave blow the candle out so I blew the candle out and the entity went like that gone my wife is sitting in the chair and she wakes up and I'm looking at her and she said, what's the problem? What's going on? And I wouldn't tell her, like, what happened. I would never tell her what happened. And I just said, well, I guess you were sleepwalking or something like that. And I found you on your chair. Because actually I was told by the entity not to tell her what was going on. Because she'll be the portal for me to communicate with them all the time. And if she knew then she wouldn't do it or she would have negative negative vibes or whatever it is and and we wouldn't be able to communicate. So the entity actually told me, do not tell her because she will be the vessel to be used for that entity or him or whoever he is to come on into her to speak to me. And this sounds like, far-fetched story I know but it, it's dead true okay and uh, I did what the entity told me to I went to the supermarket I went and got the bread and I went and got some wine and the following evening uh, when my wife was literally just sitting around I lit a candle and she kind of was puzzled said, so what are you lighting the candle for? And I said, oh, I just need to light the candle because uh, something, I can't remember exactly what I said, uh, the aroma or whatever like that, scented candle. I said, it smells good and I just want to get rid of some odour or something that's in the in the unit. And she kind of complied to what I, I said. And then all of a sudden she just went out on the chair again and as though she just passed out after I lit the candle then this entity came straight back into her and started moaning Stephen Stephen guide me here guide me here you know and call on call on me so I called on it to come come to the light come to the light come to the light and eventually the entity was sitting in the chair eyes wide open, looking at me. Told me their name. and This is a long time ago, so I can't remember exactly the name. But said, we need to do the communion to make your aura turn from black to a more righteous colour. Well, okay says we want to get rid of those pits out of your heart so I complied and it was really weird because 
I've now got this entity sitting at a table. Literally sitting at a table telling me what to do in this ritual of the communion. Of to take a slice of the bread and um, take a drink of the wine. And then I'll be cleansed. So I did that. Then after I did that, I was told to recite the Lord's Prayer. And I would get better communication with this entity after it. Yes, I know. It sounds very, very far-fetched. Kind of like a science fiction novel, right? Um, of total fiction. But I swear it's the truth. May God strike me down dead if it's not. And that entity told me they could not eat or partake of it. It had to be for me. And the taste of the bread was totally different. And the wine tasted sweet and it touched me and made me feel at peace after I'd taken it. Then the entity spoke to me again and told me, now I have better communication with you and you can call on me at set times. I said, okay. He said, we will work together, you will help me and I will help you to get away from that lifestyle, which I wasn't involved in that lifestyle anymore. But he said he knew the pits in my heart were still there from my past and it had to be erased. Now I'm not going to go into full detail on this video because I could be on this video for hours at a time but I will do another video if you wish me to continue please comment and I'll continue on with what is to follow on this video but that was a gift I had okay that's one of the gifts that I was able to communicate with spirits by sending my wife into a medium type trance and have them actually speak through her to me so you can believe it or not right now God is telling me to tell these um, to tell whoever wants to listen to this video that I have to get off my chest of the things in my past to tell others to be wary of situations okay so if you wish to hear the rest of the story uh, subscribe to my channel and I have plenty more videos that I'm going to be doing because God's telling me to do it especially at this time uh, something is going down darkness is starting to prevail and people are not seeing the light that's what God is telling me so do whatever you can to reach people from the darkness and get them into the light. This is what I'm told to do. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put this video on for 20 minutes. And I'll just pray. Thank God for giving me the vision, Lord God. For giving me the awareness to know you. As Jesus Christ, my Saviour. Who shed his blood on the cross for the sins of this world that whoever believes in him and calls on his name shall be saved. I thank you for changing my life and changing my direction. May I continue to further myself and be stronger and strengthened by you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, okay, if you want to continue and listen to my videos, I'll tell you on the next one, okay? Thank you. God bless.
Bye.